going to make some electricity in this little disc lamp today. I 3D printed it on my resin printer and made it ready for use and I drilled this little hole that I showed in the lamp itself. Then I 3D printed this little box for the lights to be in and you can find the links for the box and the lamp in the info box below. I'm going to leave it there for you. Now I'm going to take a balloon light and I'm going to dismantle it. Save everything from the balloon light except the plastic. We don't need the plastic but everything else. The battery is actually put together with a piece of plastic so that's all fine. Place them where I show here in the little box. Then I have this little miniature power outlet that I'm going to slide in in the hole in the side of the box. Make sure the number is turning up. Then I have some miniature wires. Here it has two wires in one piece. You should be able to find them online by looking up miniature wire. I pull one end of the wire through the little hole in the lamp itself. I'm taking my scissor and carefully cutting the two wires apart from each other. I took off the insulation at the ends of these two wires. I don't like that the legs on this little bolt are too far from each other, so I am actually squeezing them a bit together and I'm shortening them. Make sure they don't touch each other after doing this. I solder a wire to one leg and the other wire to the other leg. The small blue things you see here, they are insulation that goes around the soldered part after soldering. When you are ready, you can heat this little blue part up and it will shrink so it fits perfect over the soldered place. This way the two wires will never get in contact. Do it with both wires and carefully pull the wire through the lamp so this little bulb is sitting right in there. I'm stretching out the little middle piece a little more and then cutting it into two halves. I place my little lamp where I want it, I drilled a hole for it. And then I pulled the wire through the wall where I want it and now I'm just cutting the wire off into a nicer length. I pulled off the isolation on the wires and now I'm checking to see which way the batteries goes. I now know that this wire is the minus and that is the minus of the battery. So I solder on the little middle plate with the tiny uh, dot on. I soldered the other metal piece into the middle piece of this little contact. I know it can be hard to see what I did because I had a few problems with this. Then I put the two wires in the tiny hole on the box. I connect the wire to the first of these pieces on the little switch. And then I'm soldering it in place. I put the batteries back in place. 
The plus side is going to touch the little piece of metal that is connected to the middle point and this little metal place is going to be put in behind the battery on the minus Now test the connection if the lamp is working. Put on the lid and you can now place it on your creation where you want it. When the battery dies, you just take the batteries out of this little compartment and put fresh batteries in there. That's all there is to this little craft. I hope you liked it and if you did, give it a like. It means a lot to me. Happy crafting!